Yesterday was a pretty crazy day on Twitch, which is Hassan and his dog appearing to electrocute his dog with a shock collar. Okay, it's the same reason as to why America, Kaya, please just fucking go, just stop. Right here, the dog gets off. Just fucking and you can see how he leans over, he moves his arm forward, and people are saying this is when he presses the button on the shock collar device. Go just stop. The vibration collar that she has. This is the one that people are talking about. It has the capacity to vibrate, and that's it. There's the fucking vibrator. I understand. I understand why people are concerned about it. Man, it seems to most closely match the ET300 mini educator half mile remote e collar, which does have shock prongs. It seems to match in shape, in the positioning of the charging port, in the texture of the plastic, unlike this one with the much more curvy light than the one Hassan has. This one which is vibrate only also has its charging point on the side. The one Hassan has has the charging point in the middle, much like the shocking version where the prongs that could deliver the shock are simply removable. Fucking dope style. No mercy. Okay, I can't eat it more. I, I guys, lick anything else. Anything else. Oh my god. I, I can't. I, that brother. Kaya, please just fucking go. Stop. Oh yeah, so I could a game based on the Hassan situation. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this whole Hassan situation will be nothing but big news to the unemployed. Oh look, streamer clip farming. Anyway, but by God, Twitter, Reddit, and TikTok boy.com people never let it go. The slander is so good, it became a fucking meme. Look! You know for a fact that if Hoop, if I was talking about it, this is not just some run in a mill clip farm. It is actually reaching a brain rock status at this point i'm not even shocked get it shock if next week still a brain rot will add this shit into the game so when i look at my wallet and notification from my university asking me to pay college tuition i said bet time for me to get the bag and milk the situation too in the forms of video games so you know this is my first time ever learning how to make video game as you can see i'm battling with chat gpt right now picking the the best engine for it unity we got unreal 5 eventually because the game that i want to make it simple so i chose godot instead if you don't know i already have some background in programming you know i program python for my ai daughter <laughs> so apparently gd script which is the the programming language that godot is using is relatively similar to python and that makes learning uh, much easier i'm not too worried about coding and scripting what i'm worried about is how the game is gonna look like it has to look recognizable like people has to know ah and to be fair that that too was easy. All I did was take a, a frame photo of, of of the crime scene, and boom! I feel like any I feel like this is instantly recognizable. People know what it is and what they gotta do. What the whole story? Way that I think about it, it's like if you're playing a fantasy adventure game, it has to be in a forest or like in a cave with like lakes and all that stuff, and it has to look magical. And considering our game is <laughs> mostly meme, then, you know, it has to be around this reference of a photo. You feeling me? I feel like because this is a meme game, I know for a fact that I could get away with a lot of things. So I don't think, um, sure, people want beautiful games, but considering this is a just a meme, funny, ha the haha -ha game, um, I'm sure I can get away with a lot of things. As you can see, I'm tracing Hassan's face to make it cartoonish, so it is a lot easier for me to animate. Listen, it might look terrible. I know I'm not very good at drawing, but it's it's the best that I can do for now. <laughs> what? what? Okay, this reminds me of someone, but I don't know who it is. Okay, this, this looks good. This looks good, guys. This beautiful lips. Beautiful. Beautiful lips. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. We're gonna add this here. <laughs> there we go. That looks like him. Yo, that looks like him. That looks 
That looks good. That looks perfectly fine. That looks perfectly fine. Okay, that looks I'm just gonna use this. We gotta make two identical photos. This. Okay, so now I think... Oh, come on. Is that the wrong layer? When it clothes, I think the issue here is that the mouth is too big. Looks like his, you know, his, his hockey. His hockey. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so we got the body now. From here, I know for a fact that you guys can guess the motive of the game, which is if you press a button, then Hassan, the car the player will talk. And when their player talks, they get views. And of course, don't forget about the dogs. Okay, so oh, I, think I, I think I know what to do. We just need a dog that both sit and then stand dog laying there we go we got a dog laying a dog laying and a dog standing <laughs> if there's a dog if the dog is standing then you have <laughs> i can't i just can't oh my god this is too funny all we need all we need is a background Again, going with the, uh, this is a meme game so I can get away with a lot of things. It doesn't have to look perfect. It only has to look believable. So as you can see, I just, you know, spam a bunch of colors and filters and fill something, something, something. You know, just, just to make it believable. There we go. That looks good. <laughs> and if the puppy is standing, then we gotta show. I just can't. I can't. I can't do this. I can't continue. This is too funny. Perfect. Now we have the body. All we need now is to just start coding. Coding in Godot is so brain dead, it's not even funny. We use scenes. Scenes allow us to bundle together nodes into reusable packages. A scene can be a character, a weapon, a menu. They can be as small as a single collectible coin or an entire level. And this is what makes Godot so good compared to other game engines. Because what I have here is four scenes. The background scene, the body scene, the player, the dog scene, the dog, and of course the score scene. So what I have here is the body scene. The body scene is super simple. If I press Q, it's gonna play the animation. You know, animation and of course the sound. Nah, 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 nah. The code is also brain dead simple. It's li literally this. Input, press Q, then play animation, a play sound. If I press Q, play animation and play sound. Press Q, play animation, play sound. So the dog has three states. The sleep state, the awake state, and then the shock state. Dog sleep, and then the dog will awake. And if the dog is awake, you gotta shock it and it goes back to sleep dog sleep shot 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 a shot in scene we got the again it's it's it literally just photoshop it's photoshop and then you split it and then finally we got the view scene or the score scene the score scene is super simple if i press q the view number goes up if i press space bar which is again an action to shock the dog i'll get like hundred more views all we gotta do just like photoshop is adding everything together we got we add the room we add the player we add the dog and finally we add the views and of course all we gotta do is just play the game it's a completely <laughs> <laughs> think of it like three different games happening at the same time the player game the dog game and then the view game it's like three different games being put together in one singular big game by the way if you're wondering how did how i make this um how i make this chat move it's basically a video so as you can see this is a video of people chatting and what i did is i just plaster this chat setting into the game and of course the last thing that, that i need to do is uh make a tutorial cue to talk space to train your dog and uh here's an exe file that you can just open and play on uh, play basically anywhere there we go That's, uh, there we go a complete full-flooded game now by the way if <laughs>